Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my list of project management tools I use on a daily basis to manage my own e-learning projects. So stick around. You know, when you're new to e-learning, no one really takes the time to tell you that a major part of your job is being a project manager. I mean, between scoping your projects, creating project plans, juggling timelines, and of course, dealing with your stakeholders and subject matter experts, as wonderful as they may be, it can be hard keeping all of your projects on track and of course on time. And that's why it's my recommendation to use an e-learning project management tool to, well, to help you keep your head on straight. So without further ado, here are my top three e-learning project management tools I use on a daily basis. Number one, Trello. Now I'll be honest with you, I've been using Trello for years, not only to help me manage my e-learning projects, but also to manage my life in general. Now, if you're not familiar with Trello, it's a Kanban style tool, which you can use to organize projects and tasks into individual boards, cards, and lists. And what I love most about Trello, first and foremost, is that it's free. However, I do think there is a paid version of the software that I've never found a reason to upgrade to. Just be aware of that. And of course, it's also super easy to use. Now, when it comes to managing e-learning projects with Trello, I usually create a dedicated board with a series of lists for each step in the e-learning development process, including planning, design, storyboarding, development, implementation, and evaluation. And from there, I'll then create a card for each of my projects, which lets me track my progress at each stage of the development process. Now, in addition to creating a board with lists and cards, things get really cool when you click to open a card. This is where you can create checklists, assign due dates, manage comments, upload attachments, invite other members to the project, and a bunch of other really great things that make it ideal for managing your e-learning projects in a simple way. All right, so that's Trello. Now, the second tool on my list of e-learning project management tools I use is Miro. Now, I'll be honest when I say that Miro technically isn't a project management tool, but what makes Miro different is that it's a whiteboarding tool that you can use for all sorts of different aspects of managing your e-learning projects or designing your e-learning courses. So for example, I use Miro all the time to brainstorm and design my courses. I use it to help me organize my ideas, create outlines, storyboarding, and a bunch of other things. Now, from a project management perspective, Miro also offers Kanban style templates with many of the same features offered by Trello for task tracking, timelines, and a bunch of other really great things. And just like most other project management tools with Miro, you can invite others to virtually collaborate with you in real time, which makes it a super convenient tool. All right, so my third and final tool I use for e-learning project management is Asana. Now, unlike Trello or Miro, Asana is a fully fledged project management platform. And I personally started using Asana when I made the leap into freelancing full time several years ago, as I wanted something that I could use with my clients. And in fact, it's the tool I use every single day with all of my client facing projects. Now, while Asana does offer a free version of their software, I would recommend signing up for a monthly or annual subscription so that you can take advantage of all of its features. Now, what I like most about Asana is that you can manage multiple projects and create Gantt charts for your projects, which they call timelines. And what Gantt charts are, or what timelines are, is they help you illustrate the dependencies of every task that needs to be completed during the project. So for example, if the time frame or due date for a particular task changes, it will automatically update the subsequent tasks accordingly. And this can go a really long way in helping you avoid scope creep and getting on-time feedback from your stakeholders and subject matter experts. All right, so those are the top three e-learning project management tools I use for my e-learning projects, which of course leads me to my question of the day. What other project management tools would you recommend for managing e-learning or instructional design projects? Share your thoughts, tips, or questions by commenting below. 
As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click that subscribe button below if you'd like to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, if you'd like to learn more about growing your e-learning career or building your e-learning portfolio or managing your e-learning projects, make sure to check out the e-learning designers Academy at elearningacademy.io. My name is Tim Slade and until next time, I'll see you around.